Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and I do pen reviews and paper reviews and all that kind of stuff as I explore the world of fountain pens, ink, and paper. However, today, it's a ballpoint pen. A ballpoint pen? Can I even do that? Yes, I can. And I will. Today we're going to look at the Olight, a company known for making terrific LED flashlights and other EDC gear. An Olight ballpoint pen. And on top of that, it is a bolt action. And on top of that, it's mini. It's a pocket pen. And you know that I like a pocket pen. So, a couple of things before we dive in. One, they did send me this pen for review. That will not change what I like and don't like, but I will share with you what I like and what I don't like as we go through this review. And I will let you know what I think about the Olight pen. And I get to pass on to you a discount code in the description. So take advantage of that if this is a pen that you are interested in. Now let's flip that camera and take a closer look. All right, here is the Olight O-Pen Mini in its box. It comes in this purple and OD green, and it comes in safety orange in case you feel like getting lost in the Adirondacks for a while and want to stay on the good side of the game warden. All right, you open up that box and you find a handy little pocket pen. This is a matte finish, and I think it looks quite good. It has the helix pattern here. You can see in there the refill, and we'll get to that in just a second, but that also helps give you grip. It's not too slippery anyway because of the matte finish, but that gives you an even more solid purchase, and that's good because, you know, with a ballpoint pen, you do have to have a little bit firmer grip than with the fountain pen and, and push down a little bit so that would matter actually even a little bit more with a ballpoint pen than it would with a fountain pen. Other features are of course it does have a clip and I like it when a pocket pen comes with a clip because just because I want a pocket pen doesn't mean I don't want it to either catch on maybe the jeans pocket or a notebook or in a short shirt pocket. Sometimes I use these little pocket pins in shirts where the pockets, you know, the newer fashion is smaller pockets and uh, a regular length pin like these, they just don't work. They stick out too far. It looks ridiculous. So I carry a shorter pin in those times. Then you have that bolt action. The bolt on this pin, I believe is plastic and it is also a matte finish. So it's very easy to grab onto and it works really well. It's nice and smooth. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, so it, it works really well, and uh, it's not a pen. You know, some of these, you actually have to kind of look. Their gate is so precise that when you move the bolt through the gate, it actually catches if you're not careful. This is not that way. It's nice and smooth and works really well, and as you can see, it becomes a bit of a fidget spinner while you're doing your videos if you're not careful. Then we'll open up the pen and find the refill. Now, this is designed just for this pen and other Olight pens. You can find refills at the link below. As you'll see in the writing test, it's a good refill. I'm not having trouble with blotting too badly or anything like that. You know, just typical for ballpoints. And it's a nice, well-saturated black for a ballpoint pen. I'll do a comparison for you to a few other pens just so you can see. Uh, they say on the box here that it is supposed to write up to 800 meters, which is right at a half a mile. So I think pretty fair for a mini pen. Moving up the pen, at the top you find just this little metal insert as a finial, and that's not magnetic, and there's not really enough metal there for a uh, magnet to grab onto well enough to hold it, so it's really just kind of for appearances. But the overall design of the pen, I think it's an attractive little pen, kind of a cool look, certainly one that's in style with what a lot of people are buying right now, and the bolt action is just kind of, kind of fun and functional at the same time. All right, here you have it with some of my favorite pocket pens. And this is the Delike Brass Fountain Pen. It's a pocket pen. The Caveco Lilliput, the Fisher Space Pen Bullet, the Oto Tasha, and the Caveco Sport. All these other pens except for the Bullet are fountain pens, and that makes them quite different. The Bullet is the pen that really, to me, in my collection, compares the best. And they are still quite different because... The bullet is a pressurized pen, so, you know, writes up side down and camping trips on the moon, and it also becomes a full-length pen, and that would be what would separate these two. I carry this quite a bit in uh, 
outdoors situations because it is so handy. But one of the things that I like about the Olight is it's a lot less expensive than the Fisher Pen, and you know that makes it less risky taking it out on a four-wheeler or, or a side-by-side, -side, that sort of a thing, because sometimes I do lose things. So as far as writing goes, first, let's talk about ergonomics for a second. So it is a short pen, and you need to know that going in. It is easy to reach, that bolt action, one-handed like that, very, very handy. I like that. Um, but for some people, you know, is that long enough for you to write quick notes? It is for me. It's just fine. I've probably got just average size hands here. Uh, but yeah, that is not an issue. Easy to click that and uh, easy to click it back out again and back on again. Not, not a big deal. It's comfortable enough for me. You get enough grip because of the cutouts, and uh, I think they look cool too, so that's kind of neat. But good grip, not an issue there. Great little, you know, get it out, write quick things in a field notes sort of a thing, which ballpoints are better at field notes than fountain pens. You know, we got to admit that, right? It just... It's a handy little pen, and I think the price is really quite good as well for something that is uh, aluminum and coated. You know, that's those can get really high, so not too bad there either. And it writes, for example, in Texas, your, your hunting and fishing license is on this weird plastic, you know, it's weatherproof, waterproof paper. It's great for what it's for, but it... uh. Yeah, it's not great. You can't use gel pens, much less a fountain pen, but you can't even grab like a Pilot G2 and deal with that. It's going to smear all over the place and be a mess, whereas a ballpoint does work and works well. You know, right tool for the right job. So how does it write here on Rhodia paper? This is the Olight. O-pen. This is a medium ballpoint, and it's black as you can see. I'm not going to do a full writing review like I would because we're not trying to test ink or wetness or anything like that. But it writes smoothly, and that's not always true of a ballpoint, and I like it. So let me just do a little bit of this here. Uh, you can see it's not overly blotchy. Ballpoint pens are going to get a little build up there and blotch now and then just by their nature, but it's not bad at all at that. Let me get a couple more and just give you a side-by-side -side as far as the ink refill goes. All right, so this is the Fisher Bullet Space Pen. And it's a good refill. People really like this. It has a following. This is pressurized, which brings something to the table that the other pen doesn't have. But again, also, you know, twice the cost and maybe you don't need pressurized all that often. Maybe maybe this would be a, a good alternative. But you can also see this is not nearly as saturated a black as that Olight pen. Both of them perform well. They're both good pens. And then this is a pen I've used for years. It's been in my backpack for years. This is a Paper Mate. That's the Ink Joy. This is the multi pen, but same as any Ink Joy ballpoint pen. And you can see it's a good performer as well. All, all these are good ballpoint pens. Uh, you can see that it is actually the darkest of the black, but it, it holds up against these other pens. And I think that's great for a mini pen. Let me just do that a little bit closer so you can compare it. Maybe pretty close to that Paper Mate Ink Joy in color, certainly darker than the Fisher Space Pen. So, is it a handy pen? Absolutely. I like that bolt action mechanism. Very easy to grip. And uh, the finish is nice, and I, I think it's a fair price that they're asking. Not bad at all in a very handy little pen. So if you think that's something that's for you, uh, again, you know you can get it in the OD green or in the, the safety orange, the blaze orange, then maybe check that pen out. Link below in the description. God bless you. Have a great day.